Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Should've went shirt off on the ass. I'm wrong. Yeah, shirt yeah, off, yeah. straight up chain. Freak <laughs> Ross type shit. Yeah, um, you ready? Yeah, ready. So what's going down? Uh, welcome to Hot Thoughts TV. Let everybody know who we here with. What's up, man? This is your boy, Mr. 200 on the dash, man, a.k.a. Glee, man. On Instagram, Glee Tover, man. Infamous Glee Tover. Man. All right, so a little bit about you. Like, where you from? What was it like growing up? Shit. Ain't gonna lie, I'm from New Orleans. I'm from the east of New Orleans, you feel me? It was young. I was young when I was out there. I really grew up in Texas, for real. When I first came out here, I was on North Faro. If you don't know what that said, that's on the north side. You feel me? I was on North Faro, away from there, from, from there to the country. You feel me? I was in Alvin and all that shit, Manville. You feel me? Like all over. I'm not from there. You feel me? I'm from New Orleans. Oh yeah. So what led to uh, moving from New Orleans to Texas or Louisiana to Texas? Yeah. Shit. You know that's you know, 2005. That's the reason. Why everybody moved from the Oh, the Hurricane Katrina oh, type for shit. sure. Nah, for sure. So, uh, in the midst of that, like coming to Texas, like wh how was that? Was that like a culture shock? Was it a big jump? Was it different? Yeah, yeah. It was a culture shock when I first got out. So you feel me? It was like, ain't gonna lie, it's it's more biracial. You feel me? It's a lot of different races out there, like yeah. Mexicans. I ain't never seen no Mexican inside <laughs> Texas. Yeah. Oh God. So it's like shit like that. Yeah, nah, for sure. So, uh, in the midst of that, like, what did what did you uh, find yourself getting into? Like, as you come to Texas, like, was it always music? Was it? Nah. Uh, so I ain't gonna lie, like, shit, like any other little nigga ain't taking from y'all playing sports. You feel me? Running around, going to the film, you just love out me the skate rings and shit like that, you know, yeah. and shit like that. Getting some money, that, you know what I'm saying? That was yeah. really my thing always at a young age, everything, I always getting some money. Like, if you go look at my old Facebook picture, you feel me? Yeah, still. Just on my money shit type shit. I'm trying to be fly. You feel me? So, fucking with the homies back there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not too much shit. So the name, how did you uh come up with the name? <laughs> See, I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even come up with the name. The name came up with me, you feel me? Yeah, okay. So it was like, you feel me, like, shit, I, you know, if you know, you know, man. My, my, my name is Glee, Glee Tobin, Glee for short, you feel me? Glee, you feel me? If you know, you know, so, you feel me? That's how I got the name. Niggas know I'm a bad motherfucker when it comes to certain shit. Yeah. So twenty. We on this L L C D shit though right I'm now. I'm gonna feel it. If I get left out, I'm bad and bougie, and I see this, I'm gonna feel it. Nah, he ain't gonna get left. I'm gonna feel it, my man. What you gonna feel, please? Co-founder. Don't do that with camera. That's the that's the route you gonna take. I, I uh, nigga, I just walked in, nigga. I'm, I'm actually. I'm Blast you on camera. <laughs> but you feel Don't me. do me like that. No homo, y'all. You feel me? <laughs> wow, wild, okay. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I didn't, you know, I didn't did a whole bunch of shit. You, you know what I'm saying? I, like, capture this cat. Yeah, you know, so. LCD shit, though, man. Yeah. Luxury cannabis, cannabis <laughs> delivery, man. You, you feel know me? Nah, for sure. That's wow. another big yeah. thing. We pushing my dog, say he yeah, gonna feel. Like, oh, he's still here, so I can show y'all. Okay, man, we just dropped this right here with jokes up. We just dropped this Zabi Puffin. Zabi Puffin. Yeah. Get a dose. Get a dose of Zabi Puffin, man. Don't miss your meds. You feel? You know what I'm saying? Let me get down. Get a dose. Marketing and packaging to the extreme. Listen, our next. We are the industry. <laughs> our, our next five drops, when it comes to this right here, you know, music is cool, but our next five drops, when it comes to this, they're going to put us up there with some of the best. Trust me. Trust me. Our next five drops. Like, this is only the beginning. This cool. We got some Slay shit, though. We got some shit. So, so what started the the LCD brand? How did that come about? All right. So, to be honest, to be honest, you feel me? 
like the line of work that I really do, like you feel me, I like smoking good weed, you feel me? I always be calling the motherfucker, yo, give me some weed, give me some weed, give me some weed all throughout the night. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be halfway hustlers. So you'll call a motherfucker at 12 in the morning, you feel me? Two in the morning. Motherfucker ain't gonna answer the phone. Salute, yeah. So one day I just woke up, and when I woke up, I'm like, LCD. Luxury cannabis delivery Cause I'm only gonna bring you gas And I'm gonna bring you the gas 24 hours of the day Me and my co-founder We're gonna bring it to you 24 hours a day So Like that's where we got the LCD You know what I'm saying That's where we got all that shit from Shit I just woke up one day Called the guys And like shit We doing this LCD shit You know the guys shit We PAC from the jump So the guys always You know what I'm saying They gonna run with that shit So they ran with that shit, took it like it was their own. So and now it's their own, you feel me? We all in one. So, so drop we me. got with Shifter too, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Lou. Shout yeah, out so, uh, Shout out Peas, you know, man. You I, know what I'm saying? Niggas from the D, they fucking with us hard. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to them boys. I feel like y'all ahead of uh, y'all time, especially in Houston. I don't feel like that have all the way hit the market shit. So, like, y'all kind of jumping ahead of the curve. Yeah, nah, for sure, bro. You know, we got... I ain't gonna lie, like y'all know Ace Persona, bro. Y'all know his his music direction, how he direct his music. So you can only imagine how it go into play with the weed and with the marketing, and the whole scheme. Like everybody just go hand in hand. You feel me? So you just hoping for the best. You feel me? Yeah, nah, for sure. That's a lie. I ain't never seen nothing like the the packaging yeah. that be puffing. I ain't it's never gotta seen. Be different. You feel me? That's, yeah. that's just making it different. So you know, that's all, that's what it's about. Everybody got good weed. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got good weed. If you see now, it's like, it's a package race. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got good weed. But it's now is who can put the good weed in the best package? That's a fact, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So now you got all type of funny packaging, bro. Like, I go home and I can show you some crazy shit, bro. Like, shit that's coming with watches. They got all type of packages now. Yeah, I seen a, like, Dev Jam Fight for New York pack Fight type New York, shit. You feel me? Shout out V's. V's got the Jersey cereal. Yeah. And all that. He got the crazy shit with crumpets. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> they got some shit out there. Yeah. You feel me? But we got a. Oh, shout out Bushead Jokes Up. You feel me? I first collab with Bushead Jokes Up. Shout out Jokes Up, man. So closing out uh, 2024, do you have anything else musically and like y'all as a brand? LCD as well? Yeah, so. We, we got like uh, we got like two more drops coming out this year. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna speak on it. They're gonna be crazy. You're gonna see them when they hit the streets. But, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, the music shit for me is like, when I go to the studio, I go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? I don't really just push the music like that. Yeah. I'm gonna start just pushing the music like that. But, like, for right now, I'm just focused on the brand, focused on the business. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, we shit. gotta be in the mood. Yeah. Whatever mood he in, he just be going in that bitch like, he don't write. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, it's all in the vibe type shit. Yeah. Vibe, you feel me? So, I'd make music because I naturally love music and it's fun. Yeah. You know, I don't make music because I want to blow up or do that. I, I play music because I love it. Like, yeah. Shit. So, it ain't, it ain't no, oh, I need to write a song every day type shit. It's whenever I feel like making music, I'm going to go make music. Yeah. Who, who like the... Your top artists, like, just throughout your life. It ain't got to be, like, no top five or nothing, but just niggas you listen to, music you listen to. Shit, my top artist, Lil Wayne. I'm, I'm going to tell you, because I always get, like, people who talk, but it's, like, crazy. I got Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, Lupe Fiasco, Project Pat. You feel me? So that's where it get crazy. Most people, one of their favorite rappers wouldn't be Project Pat. You see me? Yeah. So I just grew up a little different. So. Nah, that's... That's hard, yeah. So yeah, closing out shit. If you wanna let them know where to find you, the music, pop your shit. Oh yeah, you can find my music on my Instagram. Like I said, I don't take this shit serious, man. You can find it on my Instagram. You wanna catch it, go watch the reel or something, go run that bitch up at Glee Tova, you feel me? Normal spelling, Glee Tova. Yeah. Mr. Two hundred on the dash, you did. For real.